Good evening, Dikshant. Good evening, sir. Okay, you have a wonderful name, Dikshant. Yes, sir. So, tell me what is meaning of your name? Who has given you this name? Why he had given you this name? Okay, sir. Uh, meaning of my name is a person who is fully educated. It was given by my parents because my sister's name is Diksha. So, they gave me a name, Dikshant. Now, tell me something about your family. Who all is there in your family? How much educated they are? What they are doing at present? I am also interested in knowing about the place you are coming from, significances of your place. Okay. Sir, I belong, uh, sir, my family consists of a seven living beings, including four human and I have two pet also. Uh, my, fa my father name is, my father name is Dalbi Singh and he is an ex-serviceman. He served in the Indian Army for uh, 30 years and he, he is a uh, metric pass and my mother is also a metric pass and she is a housemaker. I have an elder sister, she is doing uh, psychology in clinic, clinic psychology and she is currently working as an intern in the Agroha Medical College and I have another sister too who is a, B, a BSA tech biotechnology student and so I belong to a place Hisar Haryana which is mostly famous for its a contribution in the medical field and industrial areas. Okay, so if I come down to your place, what all places you would like to suggest me to visit over there? Sir, uh, we have uh, India Asia's largest agriculture university, CCHAU, and after that we have the LUAS, the veterinary science, uh, the, the, like the College of Veterinary Science, and after, if you, th there are some historical places also like Firozsa Palace, then we have Gujri Mahal also, and then if you want to uh, visit, visit some religious places, we have uh, a Groha temple, then we have uh, a Mandir of Hanuma, uh, Panchmukhi Hanumanji. Okay, right. You were good into academics. I can see it from your PIQ form. Tell me what all uh, achievements you had made your your academics, uh, your academic records eight onwards. Sir, uh, being an army brat, I was there in various school in 8th. I was in Patiala and in 8th, I got 85 percent. Then afterwards, I moved to Bangalore and after that in 9th, class I was around 80 percent and then in 10th I got 90.2 percent and afterward uh, in 12th in the mid of the 12th I moved to the APS SR and there I scored 92 point 90 point 92 exact 92 percent and the thing which makes me odd one out is I had PCMB and even then I was a school topper. Okay you were having physics chemistry mathematics and biology. Yes sir. Okay so you would have appeared for NEET. Yes sir I appeared for the NEET. And what about IIT JE? Sir, I appeared for the both IIT and JE and both for the NEET. Okay. And you had appeared for NDA also? Yes, sir. Very nice. So, when you look back to your school days, yes, sir. which was your favorite subject? Why it was your favorite subject? And was there any subject which never generated interest in you? What was the reason behind that? Sir, uh, f uh, like from the senior classes, I was quite interested in maths because it's a bit logical uh, subject and um, I had, like I was very not that much keen in SST because social studies because we have to cram things there and I'm not good at cramming things. So math was my one of the favorite subjects because in that we include logical things. Okay. Yes. And was there any subject which never generated interest in you? Uh, no sir, there was not any subject I was, I already took uh, studies in a positive way like they will help me in any uh, situation not like they will, of course they will help me in every situation that's why sir, I never I was like I never had a version of any subject. And uh, how was your relation with your teachers? Who was your favorite teacher? Why the individual was your favorite teacher? And was there any teacher with whom you never experienced a good relation? What was the reason behind that? Sir, my favorite teacher was uh, Mr. Victor, sir. He was in uh, he was my class teacher from 9th to 10th class. I liked him because he had a quite different way of teaching. He used to, uh, like while teaching, he used to teach like a student, not like a teacher. And I don't think so, sir, there was any teacher with whom I had a never, like whom I, with whom I had a bad relations. But still, if uh, you had given an opportunity to improve your relations with whom you would like to improve your relation then? Sir, I think I already had a good relationship with every teacher. So, I don't think so that I have to improve with others. Uh, like, I have to improve my relation with teachers. Okay, you had been to various schools, army yes. public schools. Uh, which was your favorite army public school? And which was the school where you had made maximum friends? Sir, uh, 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 like the APS Bangalore was my favorite school because that was the school where I transformed myself. And according to the uh, uh, friend point of view, it was APS Bangalore, it was APS Patiala where I made uh, lots of friends. Sir. And your father was in service, he had served Indian Army for 30 years. Yes, Which corps of army he was serving and what all places you had been with your father. 
and was there any time in your father's service when you had to remain away from him uh, yes sir uh, my father served in the indian army for 30 years he was in asc army service corp and there are there like most of the time he used to be away from us uh, i have been with him in agra i was born in assam tin so and afterward we went to agra with him and after that we went to jammu and from jammu we went to hisar because he was posted in a field area in manipur and afterward hisar we went to patiala and then from patiala we went to bangalore and after bangalore he retired there and we came and we came back to hisar to our native what your father is doing at present so he is currently doing a business he is like he tried his hand in the business uh, he is currently a property he is currently involved in a property dealing business so your sister elder sister yes sir the eldest one she is doing uh, ms psychology yes sir clinical psychology yes sir so how much uh, she has supported you in developing your psychology so uh, she has acted as a moral booster for me in every situation she always try tries to she always act as a good sister in fact she is one of the i consider me is one of the best sister in this world she is quite good she always help me in each and every situation she always try to motivate me she, she never let me down sir. okay you are having four other members in your family yes, your sir. father mother and two sisters whenever you falls into any kind of problem whom you approaches first with whom you share your strongest bonding sir there is uh, no one with whom i share a, a strong body everyone is equally important to me but even if i uh, need some suggestion it depends upon the type of a situation which in i am if i need something related to my uh, career i have, of course i have, like consult my pa both parents and if i need something uh, like suggestion for a normal thing i have, i go for with my sister sir okay suppose you are out of station yes, sir and uh, the four members of your family are not all together they are at separate place and there is a situation where you have to make a call whom you will call first of course sir i will call my dad i will of course i will call my dad sir okay yes. what all qualities you appreciate very much in your father and i'm also interested in knowing two qualities which you long like in your father sir uh, i consider my dad as a hero in fact he is a hero like most of the people must be having a Uh, point of view that Marvel are their hero, but I consider my dad as a hero. I the most the thing which I like about my dad is the uh, his passion towards his job, and in fact he's a quite good caring uh, family member. That are the quality which I like about my dad, and I don't I don't like, and there is no quality which I don't like about my dad, sir. Okay, but no one is perfect in this world. I you might be having some shortcomings as yes, a son. Sir. You should notice that. Yes, sir. uh yes sir uh, uh, like of course everyone is not perfect in this world but we have to like we have to accept this because even i am not perfect and i cannot judge my father sir yeah there is one thing which makes not me annoy but he drinks like he drinks tea a lot so if i get a chance so i would suggest him to drink tea a little bit okay yes sir then do you take tea No sir I don't prefer tea. Right. Tell me something about your friends how many friends uh, are there and uh, who is your best friend what all qualities you like in him and what all qualities he likes in you. <laughs> so uh, being an army brat I was been to the various places and I had a quite uh, huge friend circle but I have a two friend with whom I am a, a bit more close uh, one is uh, his name is Indrajit and one more is uh, she is a girl uh, like she is a girlfriend she, her name is uh, shruti and i'm i'm close to both of them because they are quite supportive to me they support me in each and every situation they never let me down and that's the thing i like about them sir okay if you have to select one out of these two indrajit or shruti yes, whom you would like to select first sir uh, i never thought of this and i will not choose anyone because both of them are equally important to me sir okay what all qualities you don't like in indrajit sir uh, he is quite not i cannot say he is quite talkative but he most of the time he quarrels on a little bit uh, like topic which are not worthwhile he if uh, someone like arouses him to speak more he starts speaking more that's the quality i always ask him to be a bit more uh, like to ignore people as much as he can okay and would you like to suggest something to shruti also no sir uh, i consider like i consider as a best uh, like one of the best girl which i ever am, I, I ever met in my life so i don't think so that shruti need any kind of a, a suggestion from you or she need to improve in a, like she has to improve in anything sir okay tell me which was the most memorable moment you had ever spent when you three were all together 
so we uh, like we all were never three together inderjit was i met inderjit in bangalore and after that he went to his native place pune and i met shruti in hisa sir so we all three never experienced uh, like we all three never had a memorable moment together okay now tell me uh, the most memorable moment you had ever spent with inderjit and i'm also interested in knowing the most memorable moment you had ever spent with shruti okay sir in uh, like most memorable me- uh, like most memorable moment which i spent with inderjit was a uh, we like my sisters me and one my, my one more friend went to the lal bag in the uh, bangalore so we there we enjoyed a lot and that's the one of the most memorable moment which i mesmerized like all throughout my life and with shruti sir i i spent almost uh, na- almost one year of my school life with her so most of the time we used to go to the army uh, like the awa place there so we used to enjoy there and that's the most memorable moment we i have spent with the shruti and uh, like we used to go in the children park there in the army cantonment and we all used to enjoy like a children doesn't matter even though we were a part of like even though we were a student of 12th class we still used to play on those things okay yes sir so good otherwise as a youngster how do you keep yourself physically fit so for being physically fit um, most of the time i go in for the running in the morning and uh, like i try always to be consistent with that and whenever if i'm not going for a play like uh, if i'm not going for a running in the morning i like always always try to go for playing basketball in the evening and if i'm not able to do both of these thing i go to my terrace and try to do push ups or any kind of a physical activity to just keep me physically fit sir now tell me what all achievements you had made apart from academics in your life so uh, i am a district level football player i participated in it in the 8th class and i was i i represented my school in the 8th class also and there we won a gold medal and i i am played basketball also in and in bangalore i participated in a uh, inter unit competition which was held by the southern command in the uh, southern command among all of the units in the bangalore region sir and there i got fourth position even though i was competing in the eight, under 18 group and i was uh, i was of 15 years okay yes, so you were quite young yes sir and still you had achieved so many things in your life yes sir what was your position on football ground so i used to play as a, uh, a right wing or a left wing depending upon the need of the uh, like depending upon the need of the team okay yes, generally it is very difficult to play yes, into sir. both wings yes sir but how you managed to do this sir my main motive was to support the team as as much as i can and if i get a chance to score a goal I've, of course i will avail it and if uh, some other person is getting a chance so i used to give him a pass so that team so inform me most like for me the main motive was to like the uh, how does our team in and that was my main motive sir okay otherwise who is your favorite uh, football player at international sir, level Uh, according to me i consider sunil chetri as my one of the best football player player because he is a indian too sir and even though india is not that much developed in the football even that, like after that also he is one like he, he comes in the second position in number of scoring goals in the international level for their national team sir okay yes, sir. how many goals he has scored sir i don't know the exactly number of the goals i'll uh, afterward i'll of course I'll get to I'll search on the internet and I'll let you know later. Sir. And where is the headquarter of FIFA? Uh, this is also I don't know, sir. Of course, uh, I'll surely let you know afterward. Okay. Can you tell me the height of goalpost? Sir, it's around one point eight meter. Okay. Yes, sir. And one point eight meters. Yes. Are you confident? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And you were a basketball player also. Yes, sir. What is the length of basketball ground? Sir, it uh, basically. in meters it's 828 to 15 uh, meter its length is around 28 meter and its breadth breadth is of 15 meters okay so uh, which was your most memorable match you had ever played in basketball and what was your contribution in that so uh, like i played for a only school i played till i played basketball only till the school level but in my like in my neighbor in my area when i used mostly at the evening time used to play match with the uncles like all uncle of the army cantonment they used to come there and we used to play there and there are so many uh, match uh, which are which i cannot forget and in which i have contributed sir okay yes sir do you recall any one of them sir there are so many matches we never competed for any kind of a trophy we generally used to play for 
uh, to keep us physically fit and to just uh, like uh, spend our time in the evenings. And what all extracurricular activities you had been involved into? So uh, in my childhood, I've taken participate in various uh, activities in our school, like the smaller one activities, art exhibition. Then I have participated in rocking making all the activity which take place in the junior levels and afterward in 10th class I participated in a AWS level southern command a debate competition in, in what was the topic of that debate competition sir it was ac uh, according like it was related to something it was related to the or orthodox thinking of today's generation uh, some uh, like rude vadi vichar and I was an interjector in that I was interjected in debate, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So who won that debate competition? Sir, it was won by the uh, AP, it was won by the APS Bangalore also, and we have three APS like we have three APS in in the Bangalore. One is the APS Bangalore K Kamraj Road, and another one is APS ASC Center, and third one is the APS Para, uh, Para Center. Okay. Yes, sir. So Bangalore is a beautiful city to stay. Uh, Tell me, how many times you had gone to Garuna Mall in Bangalore? Sir, I have been to the Garuda Mall once uh, after my farewell in the 10th class. We all friend, like the fr our fr friend circle went to the Garuda Mall after the after our farewell end in the uh, 10th class. Sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. So, how you spent that day? Sir, what activities you had performed there? After, uh, after our farewell end, we all went to the Garuda Mall. And after that, we had a quite good meal. And after that... After that, we bid a farewell to each everyone and we all went to our home, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And even the MG Road of Bangalore is quite famous. Yes, sir. How many times you had uh, gone to MG Road? Sir, MG Road, my home was quite near to the MG Road. So, it was, of course, most of the time I used to go by there only. And in the morning time, we used to cross the MG Road while uh, running. And it was one of the major part of our running track, sir. Okay, what attracted you most on that <laughs> MG Road? Sir, mo the part which attracted me most on the MG track was the railway station because there was a quite big monument of a uh, elephant with a person sitting on that area. So I was quite like I was quite interested in that metro station area. Yes, sir. Okay, great. You were good into academics, yes, and uh, you had appeared for several. Uh, competitive examinations. Yes, you had appeared for NEET, you had appeared for IITJ, you had appeared for NDA. Yes, now tell me what was the result of these competitive examinations? Sir, I part I took participate I participated in NDA and this time I cleared it as well. And in NEET I got around 200 marks out of 720 because I was preparing for uh, my main focus was to clear NDA this time and uh, I appeared for JE also and I got 68, per 68 percentile, sir. So, NDA was your preference? Yes, sir. NDA was my preference, sir. Again, a point of my concern, Dikshant, you were good into academics. You had participated in several extracurricular activities. Yes, you were a very good player of football, basketball. Even you had performed well into athletics. You had explored everywhere. Yes, what stopped you participating in activity like NCC then? Sir, for NCC, I have a reason, sir. Uh, when I was in Patiala, I had to leave Patiala after my uh, after midterm break of my ninth class. So in my Patiala school, the NC used to start in the ninth, and after that I went to the Bangalore. And in Bangalore, the NC was started in the junior classes. So at that time, I didn't think of participating in. And in after going to the ninth, there was a sudden change in the environment. Uh, like I was most of the time I spent in the North India and after going to the Southern India there was a sudden uh, fallback in my study so instead of uh, going toward the NCC I focus more on coping up with the more like with the other people there and try to improve in my studies sir. But otherwise uh, you used to shift to school every now and then uh, it was a regular shifting. So after going to Bangalore or after shifting to Bangalore sure. why it affected more? Sir, because there was a sudden change in the environment in the studies, I was in most of the time I spent in the North India, even though there was, there was the teacher, even though I was in the AP school, but there is a difference in the environment in the North India, in like in studies, and there is a totally different environment. In what the, difference you had noticed? Sir, there was a difference of uh, basically the the people and the like the quality of study there i'm not saying the the quality in the north india is bad but the quality of the study in southern india is quite better than the north india okay. that affected me so for to cope up with that i otherwise the subject remains same yes sir 
but there is a different environment sir because a, a person get infected by its environment most of the people in the southern india they are quite uh, like lean toward the they are quite lean toward this uh, education so they most of the time they try to focus more on their education sir so, so that you found more competition over there yes sir the competition was quite high in terms of education sir so since the competition was more you had all good subjects yes, sir. Uh, why you had not performed that good in neat then sir because um, like uh, even though i got i was a medical topper in my class i was quite interest uh, like i was quite lean toward the nda and my main focus was to clear the nda first and i gave uh, like i gave neat just for my like just to check the level of the neat how does it come but if if i'm not able to go in the nda in case if i'm not able to clear it i will of course look after the uh, i will go to try in the am afmc and uh, so my nations okay dikshan tell me the parts of brain so uh, the uh, like the brain is divided into the three part first one is the forebrain the second one is the midbrain and the third one is the hindbrain sir <laughs> yes sir okay now tell me their functions so uh, basically the four forebrain has the uh, the largest part which part which is known as the cerebrum and it involve mainly the voluntary uh, like the voluntary functions uh, the walking talking like not talking walking which basically related to the voluntary function then the uh, we have the midbrain it contains the uh, hypothalamus gland which connect the uh, the forebrain to the uh, forebrain to the hindbrain and the hindbrain and the hindbrain mainly controls the involuntary actions such as the uh, heart beat salivation because it has a medulla oblongata okay yes, now uh, suppose yes, you since you are having very good friend circle yes, one of your close friend calls you late night yes, and uh, his father got heart attack he is about to be hospitalized or he needed to be hospitalized immediately yes, your friend is not having that much of amount and doctors are not ready to start the treatment without getting complete money okay what do you do it sir in that case of uh, of course i'll talk to my family that there is a problem with my friend's family and if then if my of course i know some my family will be able, my family will help them and if in case my family is also not financially good and they are not able to help them are you uh, realize uh, do you realize that uh, your family is not uh, comfortable no sir my family is comfortable not uh, no sir uh, my family is comfortable i am not saying that my family is not comfortable but still sir uh, uh after retirement it affects it affects you a lot because your pension like from sudden they are if you are serving in the indian army then your salary would be around 75 to 80000 then after it like after it retirement it comes around to 20000 then of course uh, there is a uh, like sudden fall back in your salary so you have to adjust according to them so that's why i said if I'm, my family is not able to help them i'll suggest him to go for some uh, loan from the bank sir can he apply for loan from bank at late night no sir of course he cannot apply for the uh, ba- loan from the bank in the ma- ma- like like in the late night but till that time uh, i'll ask my other friends also to help him suppose it is late night your friends are not picking up your call uh, sir in that situation uh first of all i'll go to my friend and i'll try to look for the resources there and i will talk to my relative also uh, f- for the money sir and what all other uh, responsibilities you had owed at your uh, school level so uh, like for responsibilities most of the responsibility i took in the f- football in the field of football only i was a vice captain in the zonal team and after that i organize a in, like i didn't organize a complete complete like competition i was uh, chosen to select the team of my house so i selected that and uh, and made them ensure that we, we we like we will win this tournament sir okay yes so in aps which house you used to represent so uh, like in various aps i was in uh, various houses and in aps patiala i was in sarojini house and after that i went to bangalore in bangalore i was in hemavati house sir. okay yes, sir. so what was your contribution for hemavati house sir uh, in hemavati house first of all i 
in after going to bangalore also i participated in a inter house football competition and uh, that was my only contribution in the himavat okay and you were into senior classes uh, not not that much senior sir at that time i was in 9th and 10th class so uh, in 9th and 10th class the main motive of the like in bangalore the main motive of the school is to for the board classes to focus more on the study so we had a quite less involvement in the sports activities sir. okay now tell me you would have tried for any other field like you would have become engineer good engineer you were having ability to become a doctor even yes sir leaving all those opportunities why you selected armed forces as your career <laughs> sir for uh, like being an army brat i was born and raised there i have seen people how do they work and like how do they work their uniform and each and everything they do and the officer how they uh, organize each and everything that inspires me most sir so that's why i want to join indian army okay now tell me how many commands are there in indian army where is south western command of indian army so uh, there are uh, five command of the indian army and uh, the south western command of the indian army is in pune sir are you confident there are five commands of indian army yes sir name them sir uh, first one the northern command is in the uh, udhampur and the central command is in the lucknow and then uh, the northwestern command is in the chandi Man- chandi mandir and then we have the eastern command in, in the uh, e- then we have eastern command uh, in the kolkata and the southern command is in the bangalore and the southwestern command is in the pune sir right i have heard that western command is in chandi mandir okay and uh, there is no northwestern command of indian army this is southwestern command which is in jaipur okay. southern command of indian army is in pune okay. you had been to bangalore yes, but there was no such command so uh, i guess uh, like in bangalore we have a command there i guess that's of air force okay yes, so why you mixed it up sir i couldn't recall and which is the immediate yes, senior rank to colonel rank of indian army sir immediate that's the brigadier rank sir okay and how you will identify a colonel rank officer sir colonel rank uh, he has a that uh, national emblem with the not national emblem that he has a ashoka pillar with a two star and he had a red ribbon over his uh, this neck area sir okay now as a youngster dikshant how do you keep yourself updated with general knowledge so for general knowledge i most of the time i prefer to read a short not like on telegram i read current affair and then if i get time i go on the in shots and read news sir okay yes, sir. tell me one recent international level news and two recent national level news sir so, uh, recently the india and egypt had a meeting for the security purposes and then uh, we currently who represented india in that meeting sir uh, rajnath singh our defense our defense minister sir okay yes, sir and then uh, we had a seo summit in, SEO summit uh, earlier also SEO summit in the summer can and the our prime minister what this uh, SEO stands for uh, the Shanghai Corporation organization sir okay Shanghai Corporation yes, and it was organized in summer can yes sir. in which country this summer can this uh, it's in Uzbekistan sir Uzbekistan yes sir okay and what is capital of Uzbekistan uh, sir that I don't know sir right continue uh, and sir after that uh, uh, talking about national news uh, currently the cattle are affected by the lumpy disease and then like if we talk from the sports point of view the uh, how they are affected by this disease sir lumpy virus is basically a skin disease which uh, basically affect the skin of the uh, cow only the cow it doesn't affect the milk the, like the milk production in the cows sir. okay yes, sir only the skin portion yes sir like it affect the skin portion and after that they stop eating like they gradually they stop eating and it could be fatal also sir right and and sir like talking from the sports point of view uh, the indian the coach of the uh, coach of the indian football team he is i guess tamak the A- aifa like the aifa uh, uh, extended like extended his contract for next term also sir okay how many years uh, uh, i guess for four years sir For four years. Yes, sir. So, what all major events India will be participating in next four years? Like in football, sir. Yes, under his guidance. Sir, uh, currently now India is going for a, a comp- India is currently going for a friendly ma- match against the Shik- Singapore. Uh, that's all I know, sir. Now tell me uh, one thing, Dikshant. Yes, sir. 
what all qualities you see in yourself or what you personally believe that uh, armed forces should recommend you as a commissioned officer sir uh, according to me i am a daily uh, according to me a simple individual uh, i believe in hard work with the consistent consistency and i believe in the betterment of the organization so that's why i think that i'm capable of and the most important thing which i feel for myself is the thing which makes me odd one out is my focus uh, i am a quite focused and determined which ultimately impro- which ultimately helps me in improving in other aspect like physical fitness and other thing so i think that i'm capable of being an army officer sir okay and you were army public school student yes sir apart from academics yes, being the part of the school yes, what all things you have learned how much you had applied it into your personal life so f- uh, from aps from aps i have learned so many things basically uh, even uh, like uh, after going to the aps bangalore we we are judge as a we are we all are considered as a one no one discriminate us on the basis of any caste or a creed even though we are all from different legion in an army is quite like is a small india sir people from come from various places we come together we all share a equal like we all share a culture and that's the thing which i've learned from the aps bank aps sir okay i enjoyed my conversation with you would you like to ask any question to me at last no sir Wish you very good luck. Thank you sir.